Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to create a dashboard on ServiceNow. Now, as y'all can see, I am currently on the dashboard screen, the dashboard overview screen. But if you want to get to this screen, all you got to do is head over to all applications menu, search in dashboard, and then you'll see right here under self-service, we'll have dashboards. And that'll bring us right back to where I just was. And these are all the um, dashboards that you can go ahead and select. So you can see you have different filters here. You have ones that are owned by you, recent dashboards, dashboards that are shared with you, and um, all. So if we want to go ahead and create a new dashboard, we'll have the nice little button right here. So let's go ahead and click it. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll call this YouTube dashboard. Okay, and then if we want to specify this to a group or um, role, if we want to specify restricted to certain roles, we can do that. And then we also can select who the owner is and it's having the sys administrator do it by default because that's the person that's creating it, which is me. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit submit. Okay, so as you can see, we have a blank dashboard. Now, let's say you wanna go back and you wanna change the dashboard name at some point. Um, all you have to do is click on your uh, additional actions context menu right here. And then from there, you could just go to dashboard properties and you can just change your dashboard name, restrict it to different roles. You know, pretty much everything that we saw us just do when we created the dashboard. Um, you can copy your dashboard URL from here, um, create a favorite, create different tabs, refresh, reset filters, export to PDF, et cetera. And also if you are defaulting to your dashboard screen and you just wanna create a new dashboard, you can just come here, click on that context menu and select new dashboard. Okay, so now we are about to add our different widgets. So. Typically what you're doing on here, I mean, there's quite a few different options. I mean, you can add catalog items, you can do all sorts of stuff, and mostly what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna to wanna to add reports. Now, uh, what you do is you see, we just came down to the drop down menu, we selected reports, and what it's doing right now, it's showing reports that are created by me, and it's sorting by last updated. Now, if you want to be able to see reports from anyone, you have to go ahead and change that filter. Okay, and now we should be pulling in all of the reports. And as an admin, I would have access to everything. So let's just start adding in some different reports. So what you'd wanna do is you wanna click on it, and then you just select add. Now we have that report on the screen. So I'll just add maybe four different reports. And we'll um, organize it here in a moment. I want to find some that actually have data. Open request items. Go. I'm going to delete the ones that have no data. Nice color going on. So we have all the reports on there. We'll have some stale CIs. Let's see. Dang it. Article views. Oh, no data to display. Uh, a lot of CI, CMDB stuff on here, huh? Um, whatever, we'll just put that on there for now. Okay, so once we're happy with the different reports that we have, um, let's say that we want to adjust the layout. So what we could do is we can come back over to configuration and if we want to have um, three from three out of row, three, how do we say this? Three per row, we can go ahead and select that one. If we want to have them stacked one at a time, we can do that. Um, if we want to have them side by side, we can do that. In addition to that, we can also drag and drop so we can change the order. Um, if you come over here, you can actually, if you hold shift, it'll make them smaller. If you don't hold shift and you click it, it'll make them bigger. Um, you could also change the width by moving over to the edge of that report, you can adjust it that way. And then if you can go over to the pencil, um, that'll actually take you to where you can edit the, the report. So it's just a shortcut to be able to edit different reports. Um, you could refresh the reports. And then if you have like a score report, for example, if you were to click on this edit widget, there would be an option for to make it real time so that it would update without the user having to refresh it. And these are some of the different options. So you can decide if you want a border, um, you could toggle off the border and 
decide if you want the header or not. Um, the title, the title alignment. I mean, it's a uh, pretty creative here. So whatever works for you, color wise and, and style wise, you can make it happen. And then obviously the X where you can actually close out that or, or uh, remove that report if you want to. Okay, and then uh, in addition to that, you can also add a custom background color. So if you wanted to make it the background red or green or blue, you can do that as well. And let's go ahead and make it two side by side. Okay, doesn't look very nice, but I'm sure you guys would make a, a beautiful dashboard. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add a new tab. So typically when you have a dashboard, you want it to be organized. That's the whole point of having a dashboard is to have this information in a central place for you to be able to find it. Now, um, on my work instance, we have a dashboard that we made for users. And then we have a few different tabs, like we'll have an overview tab. We'll have a change tab, a task tab, um, a timesheet portal tab. So we kind of keep them all separate. Whereas the overview tab, we just have like some different score reports. So at a glance, you can kind of see maybe if you have uh, changes that are in review that you need to get closed out, or um, if you have any approvals, if you have any high priority requests. So things that you would want to see um, when you first log into ServiceNow, you could put those as score reports on like an overview tab, for example. And then if you want to rename your tab, you can see we have our pencil icon. We could just rename our tab. Um, we have our other tab over here that we can start adding reports to if we wanted to, um, or we can delete it. Okay, so that was one way to add reports to your dashboard. So let's show you another way. So let's just search, um, oops, bring up another report. Active incidents older than seven days. Is that what that was? Yes. Okay. So if you wanted to add this report, uh, say you're on the report builder, like say you're just building a report, or maybe you're um, editing an existing report and you want to add it to your, one of your dashboards. So you would just come over here to sharing, and then there's an add to dashboard option. And then you just have to find the name of your dashboard. So I think ours was called YouTube dashboard. And you would select that. And then if you have different tabs, you can decide which tab you want it uh, to add it to. So then we would just select add. And now you see we have our new score report here at the top. And now that we have that, we can actually come over here and see, this is the toggle I was talking about earlier. We can show real-time updates. So this will update in real time without the user having to edit it. And um, in case you guys missed how I got to the option to be able to edit all of the content here on our dashboard, you just come over to configuration. And then after that, then you see you have the option to you know, drag and drop, um, remove things, change the size, et cetera. Okay, uh, sharing. Um, well, yeah, you already saw this earlier. So this is the one that it fell on by default, add widgets. So if you want to add different reports, um, blocks, catalog items, et cetera, you can do that. And now sharing, now this is who's going to have access to your report. So you can see this dashboard hasn't been shared with anyone, but if you wanted to add it to um, different recipients, you can do that. If you want to add it to certain roles, you can do that. So it's just, um, you know, whoever whoever you think should have access to it, you can you can give it to them. And then you can decide if you want them to be able to view it or if you want them to be able to edit it as well. Okay guys, that is a quick overview of dashboards. Now, I'm sure you've seen some of the out of the box dashboards. They're pretty nice. Like if we were to search ITIL, I like the ITIL dashboard. That's the one that I use. You seem to have a bunch of nice little score reports at the top. Um, and then some things at the bottom that are pretty important as well, like my group's work and my work. And uh, like the CMDB dashboard is really neat. even though there's nothing on it. But you can see this is a very comprehensive dashboard. Lots of stuff going on here. Cool. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you all in the next video very soon.